Forbes magazine said that black women are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the country. Yes. And our next guest is leading the charge. She's making black history as the first black woman to raise more than $1 million for a food startup company. Yes. So please welcome founder and CEO of Partake Foods, Denise Woodard. Denise! Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So Denise, for those of uh, us who don't know about your company, Partake Foods, can you tell us about it? Sure thing. So Partake is a natural food brand. We make gluten-free, vegan, top nine allergen-free cookies. Um, I was inspired by my daughter's experience with food allergies to leave my career in corporate America, that's my daughter, um, to do something about it. So uh, what started out as a small company, now you can find our products in over 10,000 stores across the country. Lady, almost said girl. No, this is not girl moves. Let, whoa. So you are the first woman to, of, of color to raise a million dollars for a food startup. Now, you know, that's awesome because that's stepping out on faith. But you took a lot of risk when you started out. When Tell me we, about it. When we started Partake, we were a self-funded, self-distributed company, which meant I was bootstrapping, using my family's savings, and selling cookies out of my car. Um, and so it was, you know, I would go out and I would do hundreds of demos, and I would hear fantastic response from customers, which would give me the faith to take a little bit of money from my 401k. And then we'd get a great opportunity, like when Whole Foods said yes, and I was like, well, we don't have any more. And I ended up selling my engagement ring to be able to Ooh. fund the business. And so we were all in. Uh, but we were getting really positive feedback feedback from customers and I had such a bigger North Star in wanting to create a change for my daughter and other people like our family. Girl, and so this, you said you sold that engagement ring, <laughs> woo! Now Partake Foods got funding from black investors like Rihanna, Jay-Z's Marcy Venture Partners, and singer Her. So I love this, but how do like average people find these types of investors? I will say I was an average person. I was literally selling cookies out of my car. Okay. And I will say like, you know, you don't have to get ready when you stay ready. And so like I knew the information. I was like not, it was a muscle I had to learn how to work. Asking for help, telling every single person I came across, this is what I'm working on, this is why I'm doing it, this is why I need your support, this is why I need Ooh. your help. And so I was able to get in front of amazing people like Marcy Venture Partners, which Jay-Z co-founded, and Rihanna's team and hers team. And there's lots of venture capital funds, especially post-2020, that are really focused on investing in women and people of color. And so, you know, put your story out there, know your business inside out, and the opportunities are there. Okay. It's, um, when you said that, one other question. A lot of us, especially women, it's hard for us to come out and, and go out bugging you. How did you get over that? You know, because we always go, I'm sorry, but how did you, how do you get over that? You just, it's a muscle, you just have to learn how to work. And so I literally, like on Monday mornings, I would go on LinkedIn and I would reach out to like two people. And then I was surprised by how many people wanted to see other people do well and who wanted to help. And that gave me the faith to keep going. And then I realized I was also bringing something, something to the conversation. And so I think mentorship and that work is like two-sided. And so I was able to bring things to the conversation and I just got really comfortable asking for help, but also being willing to give help where I could. Okay, I, and this is why I love this because 99% of your team is women, and over a third of those women, <laughs> yes. We talk about the power of women, the power of women, and over a third are women of color. So for you, why is this important? So I think study after study continues to show that diversity is good business, whether yes. that be gender, ethnic background, socioeconomic background. So one, I think it's good for the business. But when I think about Partake and what we stand for, I started the company as a frustrated food allergy mom. But as a woman, as a person of color, as a first time founder, I realized there's a whole bunch of other groups of people that need an opportunity to partake. And so our brand is all about inclusivity, inclusivity lifting up other groups as we climb. And it's represented across our team, across the impact work we do and across the products that we make. That is it, lift, when you lift up others, you go up. That is true. Girl, you know, and so as CEO, your CEO, your wife and your mother, you are continuously working, then how do you, how, what do you say to balancing? How do you balance out life? 
I think it's a matter of integration. So one, I think it's fantastic for my daughter to see me doing this work, right. to see that I can build a business, that she can do the same, that there's no ceiling over her head, and that she has a responsibility to help other people as she thrives. Yes. So I think it's helpful to bring her into the business. I'm lucky to have a fantastic partner. Um, and you know, I, I think it's just a matter of integrating the two pieces. Denise, I'm so glad you came here because there's so many women that are inspired by this. I think there's so many women, they want to make the, they want, and they, so thank you for coming by. Yeah. Studio audience, you're all going home with a box of Denise's Partake yeah. Cookies.